Yo! Video games. Oh, uh, you know what? I want to try their new game. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Run and Jump. Yeah. Before we, we run gotta, out of we time. gotta do the we gotta do the uh, the the tank one. I think there's a tank one. There's Berserk. Combat is what you think. Combat. Yeah. Hey, let me see. Run and Jump. <clears throat> Mr. Run and Mr. Jump. Run this is like jump. an Atari original. <clears throat> Made Night for the Driver modern Park era. Out. Canyon Bomber. Watch this one looks like, you know, a PlayStation 2 game. <laughs> we took full advantage of the Atari hardware. It's like people that put Sonic the Hedgehog on SNES and stuff. <clears throat> you can both run and jump. Crossing the street game, you mean Frogger? This has music. It has music, dude. I'll crank it for the chat. Oh, shoot. Here, hold on. Where are And, like, um... The graphics are insane. Clearly is E.T. and a cat. The wolf. Begin. Alright. Nothing here. Got a timer though. You only have twenty four thousand more seconds, Simmons. <laughs> nice jump, Mister Run and Jump. Uh, 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 uh. The, the game set out what it wanted to do, and it is currently doing it. Ooh, nice uh, ladder climb. <laughs> Oh, a Goomba! Oh! What's the track? The start! Go Give back. me this. I'm gonna beat this whole thing right now. Run in or jump. I gotta, I gotta lean in. Straight to the yeah, point. I see there's an adventure right there. The main character. Oh. Jump. Honestly, I would have loved the, the crap out of this game if I, you know, I played this game when I was very little. First, ah. first time playing the Atari. Is this how the original Atari joystick felt? Yeah. Mostly. Pretty intense. Oh yeah. Like that that's definitely true. Like the 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 tactile feel is like different a little bit, like just the rubber that sure. they used, but yeah, that that's that used eighties rubber. That is an that is a that is how a joystick is. Yeah. Pretty intense. Yeah. I mean now no a dog? Oh you beat the level, I think. The level yeah, has been you, beaten. You're, uh, you're, okay. you're you're looking for your doggo. Oh, you are looking for the dog. Ooh. Wow, Max is not waiting at all. Make it interesting. This probably eventually gets to the point where it's like, I want to be the guy. <laughs> just stuff flying at you from everywhere. Are oh, you in trouble, Kenny? Can you jump on his head? No. <laughs> Squish. Hey, you know what's funny? There's only music in the beginning when the game's not going on. OG oh, Atari joystick as hard as an m and yes, yes, that's what I mean. It's, it's probably the same. Oh, yeah. I've never used an Atari joystick before, and yeah, I'm like, this is intense. Mm hmm Would have been a top tier game back in the day. Game of the year material. Oh yeah, easy. Would have been like the Elden. The ladder is invisible. Yeah, because it's it's flickering at a rate that the stream's not catching it. Oh wow. Is it? Hey -o. I see it. Ladders with visible chat. You're you're just watching the stream at 30 FPS, not 60. Oh! Dang, we made it. Good job. Progress has been made. Oh my god, I was not expecting to fall that slowly, dude. Alright. Uh, Alright, well, let's scoot over for Steven. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Hold up. Yeah, at 30, the flickering stops. Yeah. 
or or you or it'll either stop or you won't see anything. Oh, horse! You were like some Donkey Kong. It. How do you get out of there? Oh, Jesus! There's a fan-made Super Mario for Atari that's shockingly good. Really? It's kind of sick. Same with Doom. Real Doom on Atari? Yep. What the heck? Started as a joke, then someone made it real. Mm. Oh, yes. One shot. So you you fall very slow. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, like, you sure do. Incredibly slow. You sure do. You can try it again. All right. All right. Oh, nope. Simmons said, I'm going again. Nice. <laughs> said to. No, he said, I'm going to try it again. You want to play? Kenny, shut the hell up. I just, wow. said, I just said he could take it. <laughs> I said, I want to try it again. I said you could try it again. Oh, That's why I'm not Steve. saying it's anything, over. bro. Over. Yeah. Steve. No, 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 no. Kenny, no, you better no, beat no. it now. No, no, no. Talking about this yeah, now. You're stuff. talking about shit, Kenny. Was it doing on Atari? And it... So it started as a joke in, in a magazine, a gaming magazine, like an April Fool's joke. And then the retro homebrew scene made it. Oof. It doesn't really play like Doom, because, I mean... It's it was just by title alone. Yeah, wow, dude, you have chat, I know this. I know this flicker thing because the same thing happened in like when you took damage in Mario Brothers. I remember watching a YouTube video on it, and Mario would vanish. I'm like, why the heck is Mario vanishing yeah. on like an old 2006 YouTube video? It's because the video was at 30, and the flickering happens every other frame at 60, making yeah. him invisible. Remember but if you watch it at 60, he's flickering. 30. Oh, yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean. It's like this is like that. What we 2014 we, is when we got 60. We didn't even have the option <clears throat> to like upload videos. Oh my god! It took it took a decade. I, me I remember like mm. I remember I made a video Come on. Come on, dedicated Come on. to 60 FPS I YouTube. Just a button. Yep, just a button. Jesus! Oh my god! And that that, that way, feels which, authentic. Which way? Which no, 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 that way. This that way, way. That yeah. way. Button so to the top right. So you have to do this. Are you are you left handed? Like big thumb, you got a big ass thumb. Are you so left handed? Like this. I'm so used to using the joystick with this, so now I'm doing. Oh my god! Oh, Seems oh, complaining about the controls oh, already. Oh, Get it together, oh Grandpa. God. Let's go. Oh my Firmly god! Firmly grasping. Yeah, I'm grasping it. All right. <laughs> Things are being grasped. Oh Jesus. There you go. That's awful. Yeah, so maybe it was secret quest, you Alexis. Up Thank you. When you no, no, you just have to jump. The jump button is the button. Right, yeah, but on the ladder. Oh, just press up, yeah. Okay, so that's there. There you go. Jesus. It. Okay, so then four, jump, up again. Yep. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus Christ. You got this. this is awful. Ring. Yeah, you get points for that. That's pretty funny. Like, you get points for the jump itself. All right, so this is uh, Donkey Kong. Yep. Not nice dog. Oh, I, 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 he said it after. It's, it's, not, it's not Donkey Kong. It's, it's, it's not Donkey Kong. There's no, there's no midair jumping in this game. This uh, is from dude. the 70s. Damn. But they invented it. Why did this game come out this year? Uh, from the uh, grasp it. Reflectively from the 70s. Right. Uh. Oh, wow. Whoa. It has midair. Yeah, it's got Mega Man jumps. Wow. I'm actually impressed with that. Simpsons did it. I doubt many games at the time would have been able to do that. That was like a Mega Man Dude, finish. I, it, it's it's mm, it his slow. Up. His descent is actually very slow. <clears throat> I need to like think more about it. Did it? Did it? No, no, do chat. I'll set up the giveaway. Ah! Nice. I'll set up the giveaway while they attempt to beat level ah, two. You did good. Ah. I'm moistening my lips. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do it the other way. I'm tired of this. Oh, whoops! You didn't. Okay. Oh, it's backwards. Yeah, Steve, you're holding it upside uh, down. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? It's fine. Oh my god. Okay, no, that's fine. I can do this. I can do this. Way easier. <laughs> you were like Seth Killian crab clawing this thing. Yeah. Crab claw. Actually, this feels better. Except for maybe going up. Let me see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There you go. I'm Let's grasping that, it. I'm, that gri the, I'm gripping firmly, the shaft. Yeah, firmly grasping. Yeah, I'm yeah. grasping it. All right, All right, here you go. Oh, you can go back. Okay, okay. Uh, 
I oh, jump. I actually uh, jumped. I push it. Yeah, I heard that. You heard the button? It's like a Jeopardy button where you push it and they're like, no, you. I hit X the dash and it didn't work. Ugh. Nice. Man, he gets that easy. Is this part? It's hard for him. Me and you, we would be this easy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this would be easy. Oh! oh I got uh, past the first, but uh, nah! So you don't want to give it up. Nah! Jesus. Man, Kenny and Matt. It's called Mr. Run and oh, Jump! Let's go! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> that was about a thousand miles a minute there. He didn't care about nothing. I'm just kidding. I'm wrong. Good right? All right, chat. Uh, put the word Atari into the chat, and I'm, I'm rolling it right now. All right. If you, you want to get win. a chance for this giveaway, uh, we'll contact the winner. Oh, that's not Type the over. word Atari in the chat, and it'll give you one chance to get in. It's, it's over. Yeah, we're jumping on their heads. Yeah, yeah. And if you if you double it, it will unfortunately not work. I have a spam protection on. No, I'll let it, I'll let it rock for like a minute or so, and we'll pick a winner. Oh, it populating. Boy, howdy, is it populating? There you go. That was a perfect jump. I saw that. All right, Kenny. Easy breezy. Oh! Lemon squeezy. Lemon slow. squeezy. Drop slow, Drop slow. Man. Oh, oops. Okay. Dang, everyone's just Atariing it up. Uh, do you Atari it up, chat? So yeah, big shout-outs again to the Atari guys for sending us the 2600 plus. Uh, if you guys want to learn more about it, exclamation point Atari, there's a link to uh, to check it out. It's available now on Amazon. It literally plays classic cartridges and has new cartridges that it comes with. It'll play 7,800 cartridges. As well. Ooh. So if you've got Ninja Golf... You can play it. You can play it on this. Nice. Ninja, Ninja Golf, Golf is legit. I, I'm not saying... That was a side-scroller, right? Yeah. It's a golfing and side-scroller. Yeah, it's a weird game. It's, it's awesome, actually. I think we tried it once, right? Actually, we did. We, we tried, tried it on the, the, uh, the collection. Uh, the collection last yeah. year. It's great. So if you have a physical of that hanging around, play on this. Oh! Yeah, that's as far as So you have to watch it as it's going back in. Alright, Chad, I'm gonna roll it! Good luck! I know exactly what to do in that spot. Alright, and the winner is... It's me! Saber Mao! Saber Mao! Saber Mao! won the giveaway! Saber <laughs> Mao! Congratulations, you did it, you won! Um... And let me... Ah! Yeah! DM Saber, okay? Congrats! No! Was wait for it too. No. Nice, nice. That was very scary. And he's pissed. Damn. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. He's like, no, yeah, you just go. You just go. Yeah. You ain't on no video game. Oh, damn. I jumped over there. I don't mind. Did it, did it. Sabre. Sabre Mao. <laughs> nice. Congrats, Saber. I just sent you a, a message. Artist part. Nice. Oh. 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 That should have worked. That should have worked. Is Chad, isn't there, is there a big MK tournament going down right now? What? Isn't there a big Mortal Kombat tournament going down right now? Oh, yeah. yeah. I saw the, uh, uh, yipes. Um, you Guilty Gear. It? Guilty oh, Gear, Gear. Super, uh, tournament. Freaking, uh, uh, Leffen. The guy that we knew. Yeah. With his, um... Uh, Milia? No, the birthday or happy, happy chaos. Yeah. Oh, got yeah. But he used, he used to use, he used to use Milia back in the day. Oh, well, he got wrecked by Milia. Damn, that's yeah. wild. He, he started off as a Milia. Well, his his happy chaos was dominant. You remember last? Oh like, yeah, last dude, he just, just dominated uh, everyone. Went, now, yeah, now Milia is the, the hot ticket. Nice. So Maybe like, I'll play guilty here. Like everyone was losing it. It was like, how the heck did Milia just beat him? Like, ah, oh, I'm dead. Like, there's nothing you do. If you fall there, you're done. You're done, and you're dead. Yeah, you're dead, and you're, you're done. Dead and you're done, and you're done, dead. This, done. Is, this is Unreal 6. Oh. 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 Didn't Leffen yeah, win? Oh. Yep. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He won yeah, Guilty he's Gear. He's a Smash player, but also a Guilty Gear player. Yeah. 
You act like he's, he only plays, uh... Ugh! Oh, okay, they deleted him. Good. You know what he was talking about. No, he played Smash. No, I'm saying he is a Smash player. He's Just hug the a... wall and fall on one side. Yeah. There you go, yeah. you strats. You saw it. Act like he's, he only does one. Ooh, nice. There you go. Run. Oh, it's gonna Run! rush you. Run! Holy oh God. my God. Interesting. Okay, you can... Yeah, there you go. Nice. Ugh. Easy breezy. Holy! 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 Run and jump! Oh my god. Oh! No! Oh! I want to try now. <laughs> no, 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 I want to play. Speed run. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh god. Oh. 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 Okay, nice. that's a tough Damn. jump. Okay. I'm, dude, I'm gripping this controller. Mm -hmm. From the grass. No, I don't want to fall off! Okay, go again. Uh, Max, yeah, we three more times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, from the grass. Get a couple, get a couple runs in. Get a couple runs in. From the grass. Dan, 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 no! <laughs> Button sensitive. Uh, jumped early. Ah, yeah! What? Who's that from, chat? Fox from Melee. Dang, yeah, man's your hand. Yeah, well, everyone knows that. that. Hi -ya! Hi -ya! He has the chat, though. Everyone in chat knows that. No, I don't know. They're big fans. Bro, they don't even know. Oh, wow. We have to play the song for them. Mm. We have to play the song for Max and Simmons, see if they know what game it's from. <laughs> Max was in the chat. From Beat Mania. <laughs> wow! Max is in my chat. Ew, oh, after, after you, can you, you can go back. You can go back. You can back out. Yeah. yeah, Max was in my chat after. Yeah. He, he really oh. didn't know. What? He didn't know. I knew it. You didn't know. Yeah. Nobody, nobody played that Weeby Ass Beat Mania game. Yeah, you? okay. Weebus game ever. It was the most popular game in the arcade, bro. <sighs> Why are they not making that? You gotta hold it. Have you been to a Ron one? Do you know, oh how, much, do you know how, how much Weebery has infected arcades? Right? And it's all music rhythm? Yep. Yeah. 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 Let's nice, go. nice. Okay, this is hard. Oh my oh, god, you're yeah. right. That's the same weird. thing. Yeah. Have that in my brain. Yeah. Hey, okay, here we go. But he wasn't there on that, that night. He was there like another night, right? No, he came. He came after you left. Oh, I'm shocked, man. I did a whole chat. Bro, do you know how idea. hard it is to narrow down a hundred of your favorite None games? It's tough, game. dude. There was, did you do a hundred? I did a hundred, and I had way more I could have done. And I and I saw yours nice. after, and I'm like, f, I forgot. So many games, right? I forgot DDR. A hundred percent. It's absolutely like top fifteen. That made me mad. I forgot that one, but it's like. Okay, hey, take it slow. You know what's funny about this game? You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Is that it plays better than some of the new games that come out. Like well, this is a new game. game. This game came out. In oh my god! Oh, dude. Oh, okay. oh. Alright, I made it the farthest. Go, Simmons. Oh, okay. You want to go, Steve? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see it. It's like Mega Man 1. Hmm. You're mentioning what in my chat? Jeez. What Atari game is this? This is a this is an original that came out in like for for this system. It's called Mr. Run and Jump. Oh, DDR? I didn't see it retro. That mean, oh man. my god! I remember we played Ghostbusters. But yeah, I, I did a I did a hundred games, and I'm like, you know what? This isn't even a top hundred. This is just a hundred of my favorite games. Yes. And then and that's what it turns into. Yeah. Like after after I started noticing after like twenty to thirty, I'm like, these are just games that I really like. Yeah. Like m most of them, you it's, know. It's just a hundred. Uh, if I had actually beat that, okay. If I'd actually beat that part, I would have. I would have. Uh, only two Mega Man games made it in there for me. It was like two and X Four. X Four. X Four was like. X Four is the only one I put online. Yeah, X Four was like a fifty. Mega Man until we did Retro Coach stuff. So my my history with Mega Man is like, oh, these games are great, but they don't. Yeah. They don't live in my headspace. Like even use? even in top fifty for me was like Lies of Pete. You know, yeah. like that, you that, was that top twenty five website. Mm. Uh, it's Topsters. Topsters. It's called Topsters. Yeah. yeah. Why no X1? I don't like X1 as much as everybody else. I don't. I think X4 is the best X game. Yeah, I, I personally feel the same way. X1's very good, though. It's still really good, really but... Good. Like, so here's here's my argument well, on X1. fighting games were on yours? Uh, <gasps> a lot, dude. Yeah. Like, a lot. A lot of Sega racing games and fighting games. Um, here's my argument on X1. Is, by the time X1 came out, 
Dude, we were like nine Mega Man games in or some shit. Yeah. Mm. Like the the franchise had been clearly like been buttered up and it was changing, but I, I felt like it didn't impress me as much. It was obviously better. The X series didn't wow, didn't fast. grab me as much as like X4 when it felt like, oh, this gameplay, now you have multiple characters, right? Now they play completely different. I'm like, oh, this is this is actually really sick. To me, like X4 just visually and everything about it. I feel like I have a ton of nostalgia for X1. I love X4. Okay. But I think I just enjoy playing X4 way more. To me, ugh, X4 had the most satisfying um, boss. When you get a boss weapon and you use a boss weapon as oh, a counter. Oh, they have special death animations like, and stuff. Well, it just it had the most satisfying, oh, oh, yeah. you are effing this guy up. Not just his life is going down harder, but like he's getting like, like when you like use electricity you on the him. web spread, it's like, ah, ah, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm effing you up. They did the same thing in, like, Mega Man 11 and stuff. It was kind of sick. Yeah, X... That was weird. X3, X2 are pretty hard. Like, X2, I remember being really hard. That's a that's a tough game on, like, first playthrough. Uh, oh, that, you got yeah. it, you got it. Uh, uh, I made it. Okay. All right, go again. Um, redeem yourself. So I played this game that none of you guys have ever played before. It's called Split Second. Oh, horse! I played the Split Second game. You guys never played it. Uh, right. It was really fun. Split I was playing with my friends. Messing up my, my well, messing up your sleep schedule. Oh yeah. <laughs> bad. 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 Steve, how bad was our Split Second sessions messing up your sleep schedule? Uh, Turn you actually, into a demon hours. I woke up today at seven o'clock. Oh, PM. Christ. PM. What happened? I could not fucking sleep. I could not fucking sleep. You just could sleep. not fall asleep? I couldn't fall asleep. So when did I you wake asleep. up the day before? Um... 5 p.m. Well, there you go. Yeah. You, you were only awake for like 12 hours. Yeah. My my brain is completely wired to being up at night. I've been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been there. It is. Yeah. It is a fucking problem, bro. I woke up and I was like, I think I just... Yeah, because we got off split second. You went and played Street Fighter or something. Yeah. You, just, you, were just, you were just wide could, awake. I wired, bro. Yeah. Like, this is what I mean by wired, is that when, you, uh, you know, fucking Michael Jackson and Heath Ledger type of shit, <clears> where they're too. struggling to sleep, and they're they're like, I need something. You got melatonin and shit they like that. Work. Yes. They kind of work. They they don't, they're not like, the thing is, like, you, you need melatonin. Yes. Like, it, it, if your body is, like, Damn. messed up from, That's like, crazy. I mean, the sun and stuff like that, like, you probably need melatonin. Yeah. Glass of milk? Nah. Nah. Nah, when you're that wired, man, you just, yeah. your brain just cannot be turned off. Yeah. Oof. Ah! That's the thing, is like, I would want, I'd love to go to bed before 6. Oh, yeah. But, six? you know, sometimes, six like 6 a.m. Yeah. But well, I'm just not I know, tired I know, yet, I know, I know how I get everyone to sleep. Is, is I'll, I'll make it like an, like an Uber service. Where um, I'll be like, all right, you need, thank you, thank you, you. you have trouble going to sleep? Here, get in my car. I'll take you for a ride. I'll play you all the nighttime melodies from all the Xenoblade, you know, field nighttime themes. I guarantee you, you'll be asleep in an hour. You yeah, know what's really weird? Like a little child. I'm get in my, mm -hmm. you know, in my bed after. You know what is very weird? Just in that same regard, I Ripley still says, "Dad, that hush baby." I have to sing her the Hush Baby song, right? Uh, and every time I get to, like, Hush Little Baby, don't say or Dad is going to buy you a Mockingbird. If that Mockingbird don't sing, Dad is going to buy you a Diamond Ring. I yawn. <laughs> every time. Yes, it's really God. weird. <sighs> so even by the time I, like, literally sing the song out to her, I go, what the hell? I wasn't even tired. Like, it actually does stuff to me. Max, are you saying you're a giant baby? I must be a giant baby like, singing to myself. Like, it actually like, works. Tired. Like, uh, I, I listen to like, like, um, like certain, certain uh, so ASMR. Yeah, good. Uh, uh, bull. Couple, I'm bull. Couple, I call it a bull. A couple different YouTube channels that explain things and stuff like that. So I'm like, you oh, know what I know. listen to? I find, uh, uh, Twitch channels that uh, play classic like like arcade games, mm. and they're like streaming <gasps> Japanese arcades, mm. and it has the sound of like arcades and and button taps and stuff like that. Knocks me out, bro. Uh, Knocks me the hell out. So I find tapping. like some some guys like playing Darkstalkers or Third Strike. Justin's channel has like you know big yeah. one. Like right. yes, and I'll I'll put those on, and they will knock me the f out. Didn't JJ say that the sounds of us? 
tapping the buttons. We yeah, us playing other. Third Strike back in the day used they to knock her out. Completely. It was just this, the repetitive sounds of it. Not no! That's, that's, that was I, weird. that's exactly what I did. Yeah. You can't make that jump. Simmons is looking No, no, you can't look. Yeah, he's waiting Move for on. the timing. Yeah, you can get right in the middle, but you have to get like that. Yeah, I getcha, I getcha. Funky horror games? Nah, I go to the, the what is it, um, Lo-Fi Hip Hop channel? Hey, oh. I go to the, 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 the Explain channels, like someone's gonna explain. <laughs> explain. No, I see the problem explain is, movie endings. I've tried to do that, where like, oh, do documentaries or history, and then I get way into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Comics oh, Explain. I'll listen to that. Yeah, the lo-fi girl. Even though I already know the What? Class. Jump, yes. bro! Right, right in his ass. ass. Right in his ass. There's someone talking, and then I'll just fall asleep. What if they're explaining something very interesting, though? Oh, yeah, hey, brother! You know, 100%. Like, I've, the I've, best thing is just watch, a video, you, watch a video you've already seen. Yes. YouTube channel Final Fantasy VII piano collections. What the heck? That's good. No, that's, that's why I listen to a lot of comic books. Like, comic books I already read. They explain it. I already know. I fall asleep. Yeah, the lo-fi girl is supposed to help you study. Like, that's the whole point. But she doesn't. She helps you, she helps you sleep. Oh, she's studying. Yeah, she's studying. Which what is, is what you're supposed to be doing when you're listening to her. Nah. Nah, you just go to sleep. God! I'm getting worse! <laughs> He's yeah, unlearning. I'm unlearning! Unlearning how to jump! Like, I noticed how the, the Did You Know Gaming, they literally caught on to the fact people were just using their videos to fall asleep. Yeah. So they started making compilations, like, an hour of Nintendo Facts to help you fall asleep. Nice. They just, they just labeled it that. Yeah, they, yeah, they know the audience. That. I'm like, hey, you people, know what? Good on you. People that know their audience. Yeah. Destiny lore. <laughs> well, that was dangerous. Just wait in the back. Wait in the back. There you go. And you're Close. good. You're good. You're good. Oh, God. All right, here we go. If you can get to that second one, to the corner, you're good. Christ, Christ. bro! I tried to get ahead of it! I tried to get ahead of it! You <laughs> jumped right into it. What I'm trying to say, Chad, is wake the fuck up! <laughs> wake up! Audio Don't go to bed! Wake up! Audiobooks are good. Nice. We gotta do a versus game. What is it for the basketball one? The tanks. Oh, the tanks. Combat. I remember they had a tennis one. No, oh, we did that earlier. Mm. Nice. Take a patient. 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 Ooh, patient. 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 Just wait. This is the wait, wait it out. Wait it out. Yeah. Patient, patient. Patient. Okay, now, I was trying to run when it got to the top, and it was too early. Oh! You made it! Oh! Now he uh, does you, move in you, the have, air. you have a slow, you have a slow fall. Yeah, you're there fine. There you fine. go. Yeah, he, he does move in the air. Uh oh. Good luck. That's moving very fast, dude. Oh, this is impossible. This and is it's right at your head. What the heck? Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. This no is more. Symphonies one more. of the night for Atari. We have to beat this level. Yeah, we haven't seen the end of it, have we? No, we have to beat this level. We that, first level. That end ladder is we beat, like, I, I, we, I gotta, we gotta beat this level. I, I bet you that was the final... That might have been the final test. I guarantee you that was the final test. You wanna sleep, play 16 again? <laughs> That's mean. Look, 16 was a fun game to play. It's a boring game to watch. Totally uncalled for, but a lot of fun to watch. Wow! Yeah, he got it, he got it. You think it gets lower? Let me see. No. No! the middle of the ladder I can, can do, I can wait at the top you can yeah, I can wait at the yeah. top yeah I was gonna say there's gotta be a way to stay like for a little bit and I like, kind of think about it oh, oh it's over you're dead you're actually done I mean I wanted to try as long as you can alright last try for me and somebody else can take over we're playing some KI earlier this week Steve uh yeah dude um, game's fun I was uh oh, god <laughs> I, I get another one
<laughs> it was the uh, first time in a long time that the, the the hardcore sweats didn't come in my lobby and murder everybody. Oh, I got I got that. You got that? Oh, yeah. I got that. Dude, yeah. when they see high numbers of anybody playing their they game, they come and get you. They come in. Oh, they come in. They come in. So, uh, good 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 for uh, Buddy Life to to make the room private. This is a modern Mr. Run and Jump. And uh, he went, man. We were we were enjoying our our time. Buddy Life is also one of them. Well, he's not as bad as they are. These are the tournament players. Like, they're yeah. waiting in the, the bush. God! The tournament players are waiting in the bushes mm -hmm. for anybody dumb enough to try to play I, that I, game. I jump online, and I, I get, get dudes numbers. with, like, who, 30 who, stars. Who, who is the one who won the exhibition at Evo? Uh, Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> is Nikki coming to I'm, you? I'm straight blaming Nikki for getting Fulgore nerfed into the ground. Oh, yeah. Dude, the, you think they went hard on Rash? They went twice I as don't hard understand on why they keep nerfing their poster child. Because they why? just... Why? They don't want anybody playing him. Dude, why do they hate Fulgore so much? They hate him so much. It's I mean, like they, they already have Kilgore. Here's oh, the thing, it's like a Mishima, right? Like, Mishimas are... Uh, so, sorry, Simmons, what's the timing here? Because I haven't gotten past this part. Uh, as soon as... So when is the top? The top guy is all the way on the left, that's when you... That's when you fall. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. Now. Yeah, now. Wait, wait. Now. Oh. No. Oh, okay, no. I have to stay on the left, oh, no. though. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got you. Okay, okay, okay. All right, what are you saying, Kenny? Sorry. But no one plays Fulgore. Exactly, that's what I mean. Because! Like, he's, 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 he's one of the harder characters to actually play in the game, technically. Well, it's like a Mishima. Mishimas are diff difficult it's true. to use. I mean, it's true. Yeah. He you thinks know? it's funny to make Max sad. Ah! Oh, I... It's... it's, it's <laughs> hey, you know what? There's plenty of other characters that I was flabbergasted didn't get any touches like Shadow Jago and stuff like that. I'm gonna yeah, love they, playing they Shadow Jago. They dude. said Shadow Jago has no no changes. Like, what? 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 Shadow Jago, like, Saber good? Wolf, no changes. What about Omen? Omen, no, like very little changes. What about Kilgore? No changes. He doesn't. Uh, no, nah, Kilgore's not that good. Kilgore's Kilgore can be very good. Well, they all can. He's just hard to use. Yeah. Like it took years to figure him out, but he's good. And they buffed the holy dickens yeah. out of Jago, dude. Like, I couldn't believe how much buffs Jago of all characters got. Jago's definitely their hero character, for sure. Thunder has a 20% walk speed increase. Thunder got nerfed and buffed. Oh. Yeah. No, Mira. No, Mira didn't need buffs. Mira's crazy good, Oh my man. god, how fast. Mira is ridiculously good. I was shocked no changes to Mira. Well, she is very risk reward though. Well, she is, but she's she doesn't. She doesn't have to be. You really don't have to do that. Like when you're actually good with her, she's much less risk reward. Mm. Man, you saying they should have made her more risk reward? I don't. I don't know, man. She's she's so potent. Like you get one, you you miss a break on Mira, you just die. Mm. You're just you're losing sixty percent nice. guaranteed. Apparently, Saberwolf got buffed. He, he got buffed Hello? because nothing happened to him. Oh. And if nothing happened I mean, to you, you got, it's a buff. a buff. Yeah, that's a buff. <laughs> that makes sense. Is the Arbiter, entire... also no changes? Orchid, Orchid, I don't know if Orchid will still suck after the patch. I don't know. They gave her a lot. They definitely gave her a lot, but Orchid's a character of history of nothing but buffs, and she is, you know, who knows? Um... I was more interested in the UI. Is it going to change the UI? Uh, the interface looked the same in game, but the character select screen was all new. Wow. Yeah, new character art all over the place. Interesting. And wow. they have look at where I'm standing, bro. <laughs> they have a new color scheme as well. It's a uh, gold. Yeah. Color. Oh. I was. I... <laughs> yep. You donkey Kong. Glacius also got nerfed pretty hard. Yeah, cold shoulder no longer pushing back is actually punishable now. Is like. Oof. Ripter changes? I don't think Ripter changed at all. Eagle got reworked. Fulgore got reworked. Um, they didn't do anything to uh, Sadira except for like a walk speed. No, like, well, Sadira, they, so, okay, it was okay. funny. Sadira is always like jumping around. Right, she has to. Always holding up. So what are they like, what do we do to make players not hold up all the time? Well, let's make her walk speed better so she can actually play ground and footsies more. Yeah. So that was it. So she just got buffed. Yeah, she needs, like, ground projectiles, like, not air projectiles. Otherwise, people are just going to jump all the time, which is literally... They gave her, like, with punishing tools. Yeah. Oh my Here, God. Here's the crazy one that I was, like, kind of shocked. That this is this is where this is, like, specifically a high-level patch. Uh, they, they seemingly nerfed Fulgore and Agonos into the ground. 
Like, Agnos got hit super hard, man. He deserved it. He deserved it. He, he's like, obviously like a hard character to play. What? For Come sure. On. Agnos no, is not really. super easy, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, he can be very frustrating to play at high level. This patch was high level focused. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100% was focused on like, okay, for tournament players, what did we change? So I said, Sadira was supposed to be low tier before the patch. Was Sadira low tier? Yeah, she's technically not good. Mm. If you, uh, I don't know what makes her not good anymore, but it's probably to do with the fact that you knock her down and you just beat her up. She can't, yeah, yeah, she can't, she can't get away. There. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. She's just so much fun, though. I, I, yeah, it's fine. You know, what do you tell me? I play low tier characters. Not in that game. No. Oh, I mean, uh, sorry, high tier characters. Sorry. I only play low tier characters. Like Sadira. Thank you. Jeez. Yeah, but see, if you played Sadira when she was the highest tier. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, is that, is that right? Yeah. And yeah. So now, that's now when you, continuing the player while she's when you tier. started. Yeah. So that's what we'll apply here. I gotcha. What's the Kenny? Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, like, to be to be honest, like, which which of these changes are you really gonna feel even at a mid level? Rash. Maybe rash to a certain degree. Yeah. Fulgore, 100%. If you were like a mid low level Fulgore player, I guess so. you have to play the game differently. Uh, Agonos, probably as well. And maybe to a degree, Glacius, right? Maybe to a degree, you're definitely going to feel some, some adjustments Gosh. on Glacius. Will you feel the massive buffs on Jago? Yes. Yeah, Jago just got way better. I'd argue Jago is now very good. But if there's if there's an argument which character is probably the best in the game on paper, I'm gonna say it's maybe Omen. Hmm. Uh, Omen was always a fucking nightmare, and not much actually changed on him. Um, what about Halo Boy? Arbiter? He's I don't think he got changed at all. They he's, left him alone. He left him alone. He's very good. He's actually I think he's low, bro. He's so slow and his overhead uh swing is isn't even that great. Dude. But it's like, when it's you great. land a hit, you're Fucking in just vortex hell. Yeah. Yeah, he, he needs that overhead, and that overhead doesn't do anything. And his defense is trash, bro. He needs the Dude, the armor. I've seen armor what gets you do. blown up all the You're time. You're not doing the parry, man. A parry? He literally has a parry yeah. when you activate instinct. He literally has third strike parries when you activate instinct. Uh, I guess. I yeah, mean, that it makes him insanely good. Parries make everything better. Yeah, parries make everything better. Oh. Okay, I can get back. I was gonna say what the heck. Kim Wu got hella buffs, dude. Hell, she's gonna be good now. Cinder unchanged, which I thought was pretty surprising as well. You don't know? chase me, don't chase me! General Rom technically got buffed, I think. Vincent, thank you. So you guys did the double jump, you just jumped and jumped. Yeah, I jumped when it was... Twice, yeah. I did. jumped as soon as it got close to me. Okay. So it was, it, it's, as soon as it hits there, then I go. Yeah. You oh, I did it twice. You have yeah. to do it twice. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yay! Vincent, thank you. We'll fire up KI after this, don't worry, chat. We'll probably get, like, a lobby with some god players, because you're all out there. I know you're in the They're chat. watching! They're no, waiting! They're watching judge your <laughs> gameplay! They're waiting. In the bushes. Ugh. What's really crazy is that Thunder technically got ground speed buffs, and Thunder's godlike, dude. Like, yeah. Thunder player won our KI tournament. Like, heartily. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was hologram, right? And it isn't, the things that got nerfed on him, yeah, they were kind of cheap. Like, some it's his, like, uppercut to follow-up, so you can, like, adjust at any point on the fall-down. Now he can only do it at one point. So that was a nerf. But it was not that bad. It's not that bad. To give him more walk speed, 20% is huge. Oh, huge. It's huge! No. So anyway. What, which characters am I looking forward to playing? Hisako? Uh, I'll probably play Fulgore just to see how hard it is now. Probably very difficult. Because Fulgore, you just have to play differently. Like, we have to come up with new strategies. Like, the old mix-ups and stuff just do not work. Go when it's on the left. Yeah! Is it done? Are we done? Yeah. Hey! You're like a little dog for a second. Well, that's the whole point of the game is you're chasing your dog. Oh! The dog runs away. Oh, okay. That's I get the story. It, I get it.
Puzzle God! Dude, buff Jago, you, you'll you anti air somebody four times, they're dead. Yeah. Like, holy yeah, shit, dude. Jago gets his, so much Jago's shit heavy fucking DP, anti -air. It's so dumb. His heavy DP already does good damage. Yeah, it's so stupid. And then he has better walk speed. He's, yeah. oh my god. They're, they're gonna turn that game into Jago versus Jago versus Jago versus Jago. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, it's it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I, I can already see it. Oh. Aria, yeah, Aria will literally die in two hits. If oh, Arya, she... Arya jumps at you and you're Jago, you will kill her in two hits. <laughs> Maybe she, I mean, I felt like she needed a buff, but at the same time, she's a boss character. No, no, Arya was, was bu broken as fuck. Oh, really? She was one of the best characters in the game. Uh, Busted as fuck. Always could put you in, like, Vortex and stuff like that. Yeah. It wasn't the three-body thing, it was the fact that she was, like, three characters. You had to, like... She's like a Marvel character. Uh, what the heck She has it? two assists. What the Holy heck is his name? Shot. Um... <laughs> Um, Gen, or Jen, from Street Fighter. Uh, yeah. not as much like Gen, she's literally a walking Marvel character. She's like an MK1 character with two assists. With two assists. Yeah, instead right. of one. Ha! Ah. Yeah, those little, uh, whatchamacallits. Uh, the, the little laser And then you can turn on. yourself into the other two characters, right. like what? a Marvel character. Uh, but I remember her defense was bad, like, she'd get no. hit and she'd lose a lot of health. One, one body, she has invincible DP. She can just wake up DP your ass. Oh, yeah. No, but I meant, like, defense as in health. No, it's the same as everybody else. Ha! Because you get three bodies, and the, the life distribution is, like, 99% the health of the rest of the cast. I always felt she was overcomplicated. Like, She's, she, she is difficult. Yeah, It takes yeah. a while to get used to her. Yeah. For sure. <gasps> but not nowhere near... You're dead. Just, now you're just down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowhere near as bad as a character like Cinder or something like that. Like, that character's hard as fuck to play. Yeah. I always thought Fulgore was one of the hardest characters, if not the hardest No, I, as a Fulgore player, dedicated, I'd say Cinder, in my opinion, and, like, Kilgore are hard as fuck to play. Kilgore is hard up there. I gave up on Kilgore. Nah, I was like, I'll try like this character, character, but man, he's like... And then you see, like, one of the best players play him, and you're like, holy shit, you know what I mean? Like, Granted, I mean, yeah. people took, it, it took people a year and a half to oh. actually be good with Kilgore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took that long for yeah. people to figure that shit out. Cinder and Kilgore 4D math, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, they're they're very, very crazy characters. Yeah. Shin Hisako's a bit easier to figure out, but, you know, her game plan is a little obtuse. Uh, Shin Hisako and Hisako, who's more difficult? Definitely Shin Hisako. Shin Hisako, okay. Yeah, Hisako's pretty straightforward. You see why, You see where she's not great, you see where she is great. Yeah, I kind of felt that way with uh, Shadow Jago versus Jago. Yeah, like Shadow Jago's kind of complicated. Ten, like ten times is way more. Difficult. Yeah, Shadow Jago. Uh, uh, when you start playing Shadow Jago, he's low damage. Ah, yeah. But yeah. you have to like figure out how to get good damage with him. But once you start figuring that out, people just start counter breaking the crap. I'm not counter breaking, but combo breaking everything. That you well, do. sure, but I mean that's that's chaos. That's the meta. You know, you have to. You, you, somebody's always going to be in your head, so you have to counter that. And how do you get you better at that? You just play the game more. So, you just know when people habitually break. When, when you, you get better at identifying what your opponent's doing, just to stop them. No! It always blows my brains uh, the people who are breaking like at the start of the combo, like the first two hits. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're, like, they're just uh, predicting. Yeah, they're, they're not giving you a chance to, to like, counter actually do anything. The, what they're doing is not giving you a chance to counter break. Yeah. Timing on breaks is also really important. How good is Mira? Very good. She's a little hard to play though. Guess breaks are a legit strategy. But if you guess break all the time, you know, you're gonna... I want, I want Mira and Natara to have a bite off. Yeah, so the thing with Nikki is that he is the best breaker in the game. He'll, he'll guess break you 9 out of 10 times. <laughs> like, guess it's fucking breaker. crazy how good he is at, at guess breaking. Uh, like, he just knows. <laughs> he's, he's an evil champion or an evil... Uh, he's the pretty much the best KI player. Hmm. He's arguably one of the reasons that Fulgore got nerfed into the ground, because Fulgore was his main. Yeah. Nobody else was playing Fulgore competitively, but Nikki was just, like, winning. But he wasn't winning with just Fulgore, he was winning with everybody. He eventually won the Evo thing that just happened with yeah. Saberwolf, of all characters. It's funny, we were, uh, uh, I was talking to the chat about all the things that we had, um, discovered when we, because, you remember when we got invited to, um, uh, uh Double Helix to play the game? Y'all. Yeah. And um, the reason why they invited us is because we had played the game at your place one of the first times me and Kenny came over. Yeah. And we were talking about some of the crazy stuff that we had just realized that KI invented. 
like fucking parries. Oh, and like, KI2. Yeah, yeah and KI2. Like, <laughs> nice. Nobody knew about this stuff. And yeah, well, KI2 had, like, the kitchen sink of mechanics. Yeah, so yeah. So it's kind of hard to focus on, like, one because one, there was just so much What shit. it was able to do, but the fact that nobody this was really tough. doing the stuff that uh, was even out there until... Just... No, you can't. That's I was hard. just about to say, you can't You can't fall that fast. He falls way faster than me, though. How, how would I ever get around that? I don't know. Maybe it's just very sensitive timing. Yo, Neo Hara, Auntie David, appreciate it, appreciate it, guys. Uh, everybody's asking which version of Killer Instinct should you get. Um, chat, the Steam version does have crossplay, but it does not. It still does not have ranked crossplay. If you're on, if you're on a computer, like a Windows computer, just buy the Windows Store version. Right? Windows Store is in your system by default. You might have to make an account, but it is way better. It's it's genuinely the best version of KI on, on PC. Definitive editions on sale, definitive will upgrade to anniversary for free. The same thing on that same thing applies to the Steam version. But the Steam version, the only thing it lacks is ranked crossplay. It does not have that. It's if you're if you're not doing the computer version, obviously Game Pass. It's just on Game Pass. I don't know. So he has to be when he's up. Oh no, when he's on the way up. I mean, you pass right that point. Why yeah. is he's on the way up? Yeah, yeah on the way up. Right. Now. Yep. There you go. There you go. Uh, what? Seems simple enough. Yeah, and, and obviously, like the anniversary edition, if you're buying the new one, doesn't even include the. I believe it. I don't believe. It. Doesn't even include <laughs> the classic games, and the reason they're taking the classic games out is because it was making the the, the game the game rated mature, because KI one and two are rated M games now. By in the '90s they weren't, but by modern day standards they are. Is the Game Pass version the same thing? Yes. Yes. Now, is chat is KI definitive edition? Uh, on Game Pass? Is the Definitive Edition on Game Pass? Does that include the classics? <sighs> it is. Yeah, well, there you go. Is the Elite Controller good for KI? Yeah, KI was made for controller in mind. You'd be shocked. It, chat, and also the assist modes, what's it called? The, uh, what's the Killer Instinct, like, easy combo mode called? Uh, <clears throat> where you just press buttons during... Combos and no no motions or some shit. Ah, uh, and KI? Yeah, it's, I, it's very well done. Yeah, combo assist. Combo assist is also go. very good. If you just want to like jump in and hit buttons and play the game, combo assist is very good and also is scalable. So if you want to play the game properly or not, you can still it can still work. Those get uh, broken pretty easily, don't they? No, combo assist was was had some funky things at the start, but it is genuinely good. Like, you can activate ultras mm -hmm. like broken, like combo breaker. Like, people will break it. Like, not oh, no, it doesn't it. affect combo breakers. Combo assist is in when you do combos. In Killer Instinct, so, for example, I land opener, yeah, yeah. opener, press this button, linker, this button, linker, this button, linker, ender. Ha. You don't have to press any of this. Yeah, yeah, so you're That's just combo assist. Oh, my God. Does it nerf the damage? I don't think so. Huh. No. I don't know if anybody knows. Well, what was the downside of that? Because uh, at that point, I think you don't technically it. don't get like potentially something like manuals or something like that. Yeah. Chat. What was the downside to that? Because it had to have been something. They always they always give you something bad because you're doing something that give, makes the game easier. <clears throat> you don't get manuals. Manuals. Okay. Yeah, it's actually Street Fighter. It's Street Fighter Six. You, you, sort lose, of. you lose access to certain Something. attacks, yeah. and that's how it should work. Right? Yeah, right. This I, is like, I agree. This, it's pretty much like, but it also is good because guess what? If you choose to do the manual shit, if you choose to do the normal stuff, it still works. Yeah, yeah. You can still do the motion, and it'll still work. Oh, uh, um, I'm surprised that everyone that that figured that out, uh, a game like Dragon Ball, just never figured it out. Oh, you that's I mean? why it's good. Okay, so in Combo Assistant KI, when you go to the options menu, you can choose which things it does. What so you can, do, you can do easy ultras, and easy ultras makes it so you not to press like all three buttons, but and just yeah. auto does ultra. What the hell? It's very helpful. What the heck? It's super helpful. <sighs> but you can also have it not do the other stuff so you get access to manuals. Oh. It's very, like, it's very customizable. Good. It's very customizable. Huh, that's kind of cool. The game is very aggressive on right, accessibility. Simmons. Come on, man. This Last is, time, we're gonna this... play KI. What? Oh, no, no. I want to see him at least because ah! this part should be he easy. To, he has to jump the diglet. Yeah, jump that bad boy.
Yeah, like, why is it that that games like, uh, you know, Dragon Ball didn't get the, the memo? Like, hey, you should, like, make things, uh, like, because like, they're doing an auto combo and it's doing the same amount of damage as actually doing it manually. So, you know? so here's one, oh. here, here's the, here's why auto combos suck dick in, in Dragon Ball. Um, it's like mass square, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And it's like three attacks that follow up and get you into a combo. And it's and it's the the, the, the best route you can go. It, 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 it isn't always the best route. Not always, if the not first always. hit lands, if the second hit lands, sometimes yes. Yeah. But what's bullshit about it is that if somebody jumps over you and you're committing to a direction with square, 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 guess what happens? Your character does this. And, and then auto direct goes right out. So out. sometimes it's the best thing to do yeah, to avoid mix-ups. <laughs> and it's complete. The, if, if the tracking was taken away from from Dragon Ball auto combo, nice Simmons, it'd be fun. Yeah, too. No. Wait, why are these ones all faded? But the one before it wasn't that faded. That's that's the system, dude. Huh? It can't handle two of them. No. Nope. Two diglets is too much. It's, dude, it was made in the seventies. Damn. Ah! Man, I thought it was Mario. Damn. They're like, okay, so here's two more. There's three more. And there's now four more. more. Seventeen of these yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah, right there, just doing crazy. All right, he did it. He got You did it. Yeah, he got past. Simmons is still playing, though. Okay. Simmons is addicted to run and jump on Atari. Run you know, and plus. jump. Because Simmons is an, uh, a, 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 at heart, Simmons is a platformer. So even if he's using this wonky controller, it doesn't matter. See, his platformer brain will be like, this game I is need to do, I definitely do made with like modern sensibilities yes. of what's like addicting and fun. Like, and it's much different than old games in the 70s, which are just like, hey, you can move things, have fun. Yes. It's just a score thing. Yeah, th this is this is actually like, all right, yeah, <sighs> yeah, okay, you, you got us. Because this is about like the the trial, the challenge, like the obstacle course aspect. Before, early gaming was just about you can move racking, things. racking up a score. Yeah. yeah. Racking, you know, it, I mean, a I, score. I, I, I get it. This is sponsored, sponsored stream, so I don't want to say it, but I, I feel like, I, I feel like if I had like a, a Nintendo controller, this would be easier. You know what I mean? That is not the experience. Yeah, right? Yeah, that, is, like, that is not what the Atari 2600 was, man. <laughs> Here's a real question. Would that cartridge work on an old 2600? That's a great question. I don't original know. Original 2600. Then you could use the Genesis controller. Yeah, you might, you might be able to. It's the same size. I mean, why wouldn't it, you know? I mean, they are the, the fact that this system actually plays the old cartridges from the seventies. Right. I was just about wild. to say, what did they change about this system that's different from the old system? Pretty much. Well, nothing. I mean, obviously HDMI out. Oh yeah, I guess. You know, I mean, obviously it's, it's yeah. not the same hardware. It's yeah, not. Yeah, it's yeah. not the same hardware. Yeah. That was scary. So yeah, Chad, if you're looking for a uh, a Christmas present, something like in in the nick of time for the holidays. Uh, it plays 7,800 games, it plays 2,600 games. Uh, if you're looking for that, then <gasps> this is available now on Amazon, exclamation point Atari. They're kind enough to send us a big package and uh, a couple cartridges and stuff, but, you know, this is a pretty great present for your dad if they were old Atari fans and stuff. And it's a nice looking system, dude. It, it looks like, I'm pretty sure it's similar in size to the old one. Oh, it's way smaller. Is it way smaller? Okay, it's definitely smaller, it's but a, it's still it's pretty big. It's at least 30 to 50 percent smaller. Yeah, so if they're like, if you're, if, if you, it's your, at this point, if it's your dad or your grandpa, Steve, ah. you remember playing an Atari back in the day? Are you insane? <laughs> he does. Were you there at launch? I'm younger than you guys. Were you there at launch, though? I was there at launch. Uh-huh. So you were there, too, right? Yeah. Kenny said you uh, made this. Uh-huh. That's what he said. Uh. Simmons is still playing. He, can't he loves stop. this game. That, that actually, joystick is definitely holy crap. This is, is this how it was? And it's like, yeah, that's how it was. Uh, this is uh, one of those things where ah! I feel like um, I, I could watch uh, indefinitely, like watching JJ play uh, Tetris. Tetris. Yeah. Like, yeah, this has a weirdly reason, addictive quality to for it. For some reason, this is extremely entertaining for me. God. God. Also, the uh, the soundtrack for this game came with it. Mm -hmm. There's a, a separate right separate download. <sighs> oh yeah, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, right there. So you see the box art? Yeah, looks good. And the bears the back. Ah, it's good. That's actually really good. It's a soundtrack. Oh, I need to I need to actually try that. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna play. It. Listen to it. All right. Wow, it sounds great. Oh. I hesitated. I hesitated. I hesitated. You're right in it, Simmons. I hesitated right on, on the jump. What's the game's name? It's called Mr. Run, Run and Jump. And Jump. For the Atari 2600 Plus. Run 
I don't know if it actually is for the old system. I don't think so. I think this is a new game they made for this system specifically. So you see, now you start a precedent. See, oh, Steve is 64. What is going on, bro? I'm literally like one year away from these guys. What is happening? What, what, what is going on here? Where are these old jokes coming from? Literally. Like, Chad, you just, you, you're just running with a joke that doesn't make any sense. Everyone here is around the same exact age. What is happening? God damn. Jeez, the, what Kenny. is happening right now? There's Kenny, the oldest one of all of us. All wow. of them. All these old jokes. God damn. Dark if, if Steve made you. this game, this game is new, so that's not even a joke. That's what I said. This game was literally made like, what, four What's years eating? ago? Uh, I'm eating, um, I brought some Rice Krispies treats. So not Rice Krispies treats. Kenny ate, Kenny's eating my noodles! Kenny, Kenny and Steve both dig into my <laughs> fridge, I, 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 my bananas, I, 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 my I, I, baby's, I, I, my I, I, baby's I, 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 noodles. These are spicy noodles. I, I, Those I, I, are my baby's noodles! These are spice noodles. Yeah, but they're for my baby! She eats spicy food? Yes! Jeez. She likes it! You like spicy food? You don't for spicy food. I brought these from home. Kenny went downstairs, raided the ramen box. <laughs> I brought my own noodles. Bullshit. Yeah. What are they called? They're called uh, Koyosoke. <laughs> very, very, very fast with that, Kenny. Very oh, good. yeah. I never lie. Luffy, thank you. <clears throat> That one looked like so, it was so hard, and now it's the easiest thing. Rank zero, thank you. It's crazy when you know things. All right, here we go, Simmons, come on. Oh, no, that's not it. The other one's it. There you go. All right, this is the hard one. Fuck. <sighs> yeah, I don't get this it. motherfucker. Well, you just stay in the middle and just jump. Yeah, exactly. There Let's you go! go! What? <laughs> oh, that's going to be a trick. Oh, no, it's not. That's not so bad. Yeah. Hey, if he's actually <laughs> so bad. It's the guys who are not playing. <laughs> the, the one before was worse. Shit. Oh, <laughs> okay. You're right into that one. It's all right. Yeah, the timing was strange. That's all. <laughs> like somebody making a. It's uh, okay. Somebody making a Fall Guys level. Did you guys like Tremor very much? Right. Tremor's cool, but man, he's way big brain. Hey, it, it takes. He's, he's I'm like already playing that. I'm already playing a toughest nuts character, man. I'm like, I don't know. I'm about already this. making a lot of decisions and thinking, and like, I don't need to do extra thinking. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, Max. Uh, your Omni Man uh, needs. He needs. Wow. Loud. I, dude, loud. I know. He needs. Loud. That's pretty much why I stopped playing him. Yeah. Oh, you don't like Lao? Dude, I dude, I absolutely hate Lao Hat. What the hell are you talk? I hate that shit. Dang. Every single person is using it. It's the only assist in the game now. Uh, well, because one, it recharges super fast. Yes, we know. And for characters like Johnny and 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 um and every, Johnny, Steve, every, everybody, every oh, character in the game is better with Lao Hat. No, they yes, they actually a lot of people yes. are still messing with it. Uh, mess, Simra. Serena. 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 Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. But however, however, Serena is good. But if you have Lao Hat instead of Serena, they're better. Okay. Yeah, they're they have better, better mix-ups. They have high-low. You know what? You shit. know what it is? They're they're using the idea of hey, I can make this combo safe. So yes. Just do you can make well, <laughs> Yes. Of course. You don't you don't just make it safe. You make it plus. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. you also get hold hat into unblockable shit. Yeah. And you you can turn low hat into an ambush assist. If you want. Well, that's the thing is that um, I'm I'm using him with uh, um, Omni Man, right? Yeah. And uh, that stupid combo that does um, what is it? Uh, I'm gonna say one two. No no no. I'm sorry. Um, back one one. The uh, locks of the yeah. Air, one two whiff. And then you do one two, and then the second hit. Yes. And then you do the kick, and then fly. Yeah. Um, I couldn't stand it because the timing was stupid. It's hard. Mm. Um, but with Lao, you can do one, two um, into Lao, which launches him, leaves him going up high enough so that you can <laughs> jump in the air, do uh, two, 
uh, and he floats down enough so that you can do standing kick into a, a Superman, and it's ten times easier. I'm shocked Lawasis makes it easier. It is crazy. I'm shocked. But the thing is that um, back 1-1 one, one with, with Omni-Man is almost impossible because it starts off really slow, and people don't fall for it as much. Um, but 1-1 one, one is a great starter. So if you're 1-1-ing one, one into Launcher, well, you're getting a bunch back, of... Fun. Back 1-1 one, one is, is his big damage. Yeah, it's his big damage one. If you, but if you punish, you have to punish with back 1-1. One, one. Right. But now that Lau's in the game, and you can just punish with 1-2... Uh, Whatever. Uh, pff, just do that all the time, and you're just getting crazy damage. I'm doing 400 damage starting off with 1-1. One, one. I know. So, Lau, just get him. I, I was doing the same shit with just Scorpion. I'm not, man. Just make him. I hate him. You just start... You're just start. I, 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 think I, I think I hate Lau more than I did Cyrax. I think Cyrax had enough usability where, like, other stuff on Cyrax was, like, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It made things kind of interesting. I think I, I I think Lao Hat is harder to avoid. I think you just have to eat oh, shit more consistently. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because he's good for the uh, he's good for the characters that just don't have any. And to be honest, I'm just waiting for obviously what's going to happen. It's going to get nerfed into the ground. Yeah, yeah. So, it's going to get that, nerfed into the ground. Steve's, Natara. That's Steve's. Uh, Natara, Johnny, Omni. That's Steve in a nutshell. If you can't beat him, join him. Yeah. Like, uh, it's not about if you can't beat him, join him. If you're not having, no! if you're not having fun uh, playing the characters that are getting mopped left and right, uh, play the characters that you have fun with. Dude, I'm playing the weirdest character that nobody plays in the game next you're to fucking playing, Nitara. What? No, what are you talking about? You're playing uh, Havoc? Yeah. Every, dude, I've seen Havoc online like crazy. Him and, um, God, what's the other guy? The uh, uh, Rico. 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 Sorry, runner. Right. Uh, yeah, Reiko and Havoc. I've seen those guys online multiple I'm times. I'm very surprised. No. Because no, I've, I've run into maybe three Havocs and one Natara in my entire playtime. Yeah, Natara's is very rare. rare. No, Natara's crazy rare right Well, now. when she shows up, she's kind of crazy. Uh, it depends on the guys using her. And then what assist is going on there. Yeah. Natara's yeah. got some crazy stuff. She's got some good overheads. Uh, her air combo takes off, like, uh, uh, like I guarantee, like, three to four hundred, so... Yeah. Uh, if you get away with that stuff. I ran into my first Natara the other night. Wow. I was just swinging away and I won. Your first Natara. First Natara. Yikes. Never even, never even, no, no idea Bro, what, what her moves were. lost this gem. This guy was just like flying around and shit and I was just like, I just jumped up and met her in the air. I, every time I see somebody play a uh, Shao Kahn, I feel like, I need to play this character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shao. Yeah. Shao is definitely does, a character that feels good. Does yeah. crazy yeah. damage. Not really. I don't feel oh, like it's crazy. Dude. It's just the swag of all the stuff that he's he getting He has a damage buff. And he yeah. has oh, crazy damage. damage. Buff yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. He does this thing, he like charges up his axe and it's fucking wild. Oh yeah. Well that's why I was like, dude, I really want to play uh, Ashra. I was like, oh man, Ashra. And then she needs to buff her sword. Mm -hmm. And then she needs to no, hit you with the it. sword. Not really. Not really. Yeah, okay. So Ashra doesn't have to do that she stuff. She doesn't have to. Okay, it's, she's it's, got some listen, of the best normals in the game. Listen, listen, listen. She has to activate her dark sword. Yes. She throws the, the, the projectile at you. It has to hit. And if you're caught with the projectile and you got hit, you have a chance to hit her out of it. So I have, I have a solution for you. Don't activate the Dark Sword. Yeah, most well, people don't. she's god tier. She's god. But um, uh, you get an extra launcher after you hit that. Fuck, you don't even need that. it. Yeah, you which is crazy. You don't even need it. What the hell's the point? You don't need. You don't even need it. No. Yeah. You don't even need to do the deep. It's like Johnny now. Do you see? Do you ever see Johnny's do star power anymore? No, no because no. you don't need to. Yeah. yeah. It's been. It's, it, you have to like give up Oki and shit. Why are you giving up Oki with Johnny? Just keep going. Just keep, yep. Same thing. And that's the thing. A lot of character gimmicks that they've had that were like gimmicks. Like Ashra has a gimmick and Johnny. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're not that good. Yeah, they're not. They're not really worth it. Yeah. You just and don't use. You don't actually do not even need to use yeah. the dark sword shit. Yeah. Oh, her, you know, her normals and stuff are too good. You know, with star power, Johnny's getting like six hundred damage, right? Yeah, but 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 it's not worth but it. But you're like you're giving because up. you could just kill them in two combos anyway. anyway yeah, it's not know. worth it. Who's the best with Johnny? Chat. Who's the best cameo with Johnny? What do you fucking think? It, it's not Lau. It's not loud. Steve, you have not been paying attention. Oh my god, you have man. Not been, it, it, it's not even more Okay, alright. Johnny Lau is the best character in the game. By a lot. Striker. No, no Striker would be the next. It's still... But it's 100% Lau. People using Goro. I've seen. Um, Goro's not Ver bad. I've seen Vera use Goro with. Um, got, uh, Natara. Because uh, she can do the overhead slash. And Goro can come in and knock him up. No other character comes in fast enough. Goro Tanya is crazy good too. Tanya, oh my god. Tanya can wake up with an EX armor attack. Just I'm 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 well, invincible. Tanya's safe on everything, bro. Well, Dude, you, here's stupid, what's crazy dude. with Goro. Wake up with an EX attack. Normally you don't get a combo. With Goro, you get combo. 
So now she has an armored wake up that you get forty percent. Sheesh. So she's crazy. And he's she, crazy and with, with Goro, it makes it mm. like tougher to break. You can, it's sure. very tough to break the armor because Goro adds that extra hit. Yep. So good luck breaking that. It's always this one. Yeah, and her mid is insane. But I guarantee you, so here, here's what's going to happen. Cyrax was number one. Blau Hat's number two. Get ready. And what's mm -hmm. going to be the next assist that gets it? It's going to be Striker. Striker Striker can be avoided more than like Lao Hat or Sector could. Yeah, yeah. But all of Striker's grenades are highs. They're all highs. Yeah, yeah. So they can all just be ducked. You so you just throw a low while he's throwing out the high. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, so the so it's point. going to, it's not as bad, but absolutely Striker's the next assist that's going to get hit after that. Yeah. Um, chat, have you, who is good with, uh, Kentaro? Very few. Who is good with Kentaro? Chat, tell us. Because... Motaro. Motaro, you think? The four-legged guy is Motaro. El Motaro, sorry. No, Kintaro, Kintaro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Motaro. Kentaro, nobody's really using him that much. Well, he just, he's not Motaro. good. He's not that good. The only way, the only reason you're gonna lose to Motaro is if you don't know how to fight against him. Ugh. He does he, like when we saw him in the trailer. I was like, "Oh, he's got a teleport and a full screen uh, projectile. Well, he's gonna be crazy." Because we didn't know what was good. Yet. Yeah, well, like, 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 he can. He can. Make, Sindel is good with Motaro. He can make combos that are not combos. Does that and, mean? And like, he like, let's say he okay, like a so two string mm -hmm. and so it ends. There's an overhead with Shao Kahn, right? It doesn't really like lead to much, but if you use Motaro, it teleports to the other side. You get a full combo. Yes, specifically Motaro. Oh, really? But yes. Kung Lao does the same thing, I think. Hmm. And but you also get moving. everything else that Kung Lao gives you. So, just use Kung Lao. Um, I've only seen one person be good with... Um, oh God, what's his name? Uh, the old man that looks uh, like Shijinko. Shijinko. I've only seen like, one Shijinko's person. Shijinko's a gimmick. He's a gimmick he's, character. He's, he's good, because he he's, comes in, he activates first, and yes. then he comes back in with... And you like, have whatever. to recharge him manually. Yeesh. Yeah. He's a gimmick, but he's he's got some weird shit that can be very good. The only thing I know that's really that I feel is good with um, Tremor is the armor because uh, it, it nice makes okay. back. Like, Armor's good. Yeah, you know who Tremor's uh, immediately makes better in the game Sub Zero. Ha! Yeah, the, that low assist. Uh, if you do the uh, the the ambush version of the low assist, he gets overhead into unblockable. Yeah. So he just does like double overhead while you're getting hit low three times. Yeah, you're why, not blocking it. Why does Netherrealm hate Sub Zero so much? No, well, that's good. Tremor just that made character Tremor just made no Sub Zero damage, way yeah, better. Yeah, Tremor just made Sub Zero touches you. You're losing seventy percent. Whoa! Tremor's earthquake is the thing you want. It slams down, knocks a character dink, back. Dink, dink. Oh yeah, yeah. The it knocks a character, but you don't get a combo dink, dink. after it though. You you do. You do. It keeps you standing if, like, if, so here's, here's if the he thing. Ambushes it. Um, Sub-Zero, hit confirm, ice freeze. Yeah. Right? And then you do, uh, forward one, two, ambush call tremor, he hits you a few times low, you do overhead. The low doesn't combo. So the low interrupts between the three hits, right. and now your overhead's coming. High, low, wherever the fuck, two overheads, you're getting a new free combo. It, it's, it's unblockable. It's 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 a mix up, but it's an unblockable, hard to block. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You're not blocking it. Well, I said I said the same thing about um, Omni Man and, and Lao, where he has his uh, the the uh, the hat that charges. Yeah, and then he does and the then fly. Then you do the dive kick. It's free damage, and you're like, oh god, they're like made for each other. Yeah, he's like he can't do anything. <clears throat> Trevor makes a little wow. Something safe on a few characters. That was very close. That one's insane. Mad, mad about that. Yeah, I think I think Sindel you have to work really balls? hard for her to be really good. Sindel's super good, right? Someone's thinking about it. Oh, subs first back to as a med that I, I might missing. be able to. Still, it's like you got to guess between it's going to be the high or the low. It's just a complete 50-50. Well, that's what the game is turning into. A lot of 50-50s, especially Johnny. Because of Lao Hat. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's always going to be a character that has like a really good low, but his is a full screen Projectile low. Yeah, but you can call it like thirty times around. If if they if they nerf the amount of times that you can call it, then I'm they pretty sure. They already nerfed it once, so yeah, probably. It actually got nerfed. Yeah. Huh, what was it? What was it before? It, it was, was way faster, faster before. Oh wow. It literally takes twice as long to come back now, and you barely notice a difference. Ah! Yeah. Uh, so Tremor was a character that that just made Reiko better. Because Reiko was using Darius to convert off command grab, right? Yeah. Now Tremor can do that, and it's way better. And it, it, so it gives him more damage, and, and it is cheaper. 
So as soon as he comes down, <clears throat> second time. No, what does Tremor hit him with? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Tremor, well, you can do anything with Tremor as a there. as an ambush assist. Anything it can be an ambush assist. Oh, because so yeah. Darius has Shit. that one ambush assist where he kicks you and restands you, right? Right, right, right. That takes our grab though. For whatever, you can do whatever, anything. Yeah, yeah, doesn't matter. It takes forever to come back. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. getting like one per round. Tremor will Tremor will do the same thing with any assist he has, and it comes back twice as quick. Well, yeah. oh, here you know you know what? So it was just better. Well, the, the, the thing that nobody's talking about is goddamn uh, Kenshi, because he can use Sub-Zero all the way to the end, and then his cameo also uses the same bar, so yeah. he gets, like, two. Nobody's talking about Kenshi, who I breaks, s- who breaks swear, the cameo system. I swear, I've only seen Sonic Fox play Kenshi. I, I've seen a no, Kenshi. Dude, super, I've seen a few, because here's the thing. You ever run into a lot of Kenshis in Combat League? Yeah. Uh, nah. The Kenshis, Fuck, man. The Kenshis are supposed to share the, the the meter, but then they get they get two because they wait till Sub Zero's meter. So you know what's crazy about that? Gone. Yeah, it, and they'll pop a bar they'll and it just goes all the way back. All the way back. And up. I'm like, wait a minute. So, so I'm like, what's the answer here? What do you do to get out of this? And it's yeah. like you just don't get hit. You don't. Yeah. You just, you just said, cannot be there. Somebody said Kenshi's boring to watch. You know how insane it is when somebody actually gets that character into you that mix up with his uh. His shadow. I think Kenji is hype is cra- crap. I've never uh, seen it. I think he is a little boring to watch. What? That's why I don't want to play him. What? I think I think he's much more boring to watch than previous Kenshi's. I don't know why, dude. His There's shadow stuff. It. Like it's fun to see people try to get out of the shadow overhead, and then Kenshi's throwing out lows, and then you have your your cameo in the mix too. Yeah, I know. Bro, shit gets ugly. I know, but it's very rare. Something, I can't really see that. something yeah. about like Sento stance shit. It just isn't really exciting. Sento stance is 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 like kind of broken because you get. You get to get you get to refill your cameo immediately because you just wait till your cameo's just about done. You have like barely anything, and you call in Sento, and the cameo meter just goes all the way back up. It's broken. I'm so like, so there's timing. You have to. You, have no, to you don't have to. You don't have to care about it. Ah! As long as like your cameo is just about to be done, and you call out Sento, get, there it is. Go, it comes all the way back up. And it's also that it puts you like in literally an infinite block string with no gaps. Yeah. With no gaps. The only way to stop it is to hopefully he runs out and you yep. flawless block everything. Yeah, flawless blocking. Or else you're like losing that. like 30%, Cento 50% damage be, on block. Sento sh- should be uh, tied to the, the your, 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 your normal cameo. Your cameo. Yeah. Yeah. Because because guess what? Once Cento meter's done, your cameo's back and it and goes back. Yeah, and it's, it's a never ending cycle of Cento meter. Um, you know what's crazy is that um, I, I recently found out about the um, down two mm-hmm. that can link into an air combo. Yeah. I was like, what? I it's kind of not worried. It, 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 it isn't I just, just it fucking... isn't just down two. It's anti-air down two. Yeah. You right, right, right. Do, yeah, you yeah. can't just do a grounded down yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Anti-air down two, yeah. And is it is it really worth it? It takes no. like two bars. No. Because it takes two bars. You just call a cameo. Yeah. Oh, to the anti-air? You just call a cameo yeah. after you're down two. Yeah. Full combo. Same shit. Um, only in some very rare case scenarios would you want to use it. I would I would say the same thing about uh, the grab with two bars that links in the, that bounces them with like let's say um, uh, uh, Cyrax. That shit was amazing. Man. Yeah, yeah. But you that, still that, that, that could be like that. well, you have a grab that full converts. Converts. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You know, like oh, very few characters that's, actually that's get that. Araka is one of them that actually converts off of his full grab with yeah, Cyrax, that's worth it, right? Because right? like a grab. No, no, you, no. You, you're talking about the the one from behind. So Cyrax has a right, but it's the same thing. Uh, like, no, you're, no, no. You're converting off grab. No, no. And you're using two bars for the explosion. Right. So, yeah, you're using two bars for the um, the one in front. But when he does the one behind him, he doesn't use anything. You're just getting away with well, it. Well, because because the the back one isn't a cameo throw. Right, right, right. Exactly. Because but that but that's the that's thing. That's what I'm saying. The universal Cyrax is still you. technically a very good assist because on some characters your back throw can convert into full damage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. your forward throw at the cost of bar can also just just kill do it. Yeah, yeah. So he's getting away with a lot. But they, those two are a match made in heaven. Just they like, kind of are. Just like with um, you know uh, Omni and, and uh, uh, Lao. Uh, Lao. So but guess who's guess who's better with Baraka? Lao hat. <laughs> Fucking try it. <laughs> Just try it, dude. If I can't combo off of a... Because uh, uh, Lao's spin comes in very, very late. So if you can't combo off of a back throw with Lao, you better stick with it. Dude, Sorry. it's it's it's. But literally, you're talking about fundamentally where you're like... It's literally any control. two buttons, Lao hat, your plus, back three, forward three. Yeah, that's with every character, though. Like, you, you're getting no. away with being safe well, with I mean, Lao hat. But, but, that, but <laughs> yes, but that's the idea is that it leads directly into Baraka's 50-50. Yeah, yeah. Then you're, then you're just and you don't even have to commit to it. Like both of those things are safe. You can you can hit confirm both of them. 
Rock allows rare pair to be honest because everyone, everyone's still stuck on the mentality of uh, Cyrax. Yeah, yeah. They're, Baraka, they're... Baraka Rack still is you know good, but the thing is, Barack is a character that just gets to open you up for free. Yeah, he do, you don't even have to think about it. Like when I was playing Baraka, I was like, oh my god, this is what it's like to play the game with an easy character. Holy shit, dude! You just you just do shit, and you people just get opened up by back three or four or three. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Shut and then up, you, just player. Do, you just do this, you know, and people run into it. You're like, fucking wow. Okay. I now know what it's like. I was playing yeah, characters like Baraka. fucking Scorpion and, and uh, fucking like Reptile and stuff, and you realize how much the bad characters struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other characters, it just works. And Raiden Jax. Raiden as well, same well, shit. Well, he got I mean, all that nerf. All that got nerfed. Still, he was like, oh, he, does, he no longer does 50%, he does 45%. It's like 39%. No, he does 40 He still is in the 40s. It's definitely, two not, it's definitely not as dangerous. Bro, where did it's, it's jump like, go? It went from 50 to 40. And even then, uh, Raiden by himself with, with, with uh, Jax, good luck opening anybody up. Like, Raiden needs something else to open up. It's like loud. You, like you, you have overhead or down don't, two kicks. Yeah, down two the overhead, kicks. the overhead or, is just it just knocks you down. So, but who cares? Yeah, that, that's, but you don't, you don't need that to lead because if you start and if he misses, if he misses, he's getting punished. No, so no, it, his overhead safe, is it not? No, it's not safe. It is there. especially on a uh, what's the word? Um, uh, Lu Chang might be the, the only character. Lu Kang might be the only character in the game who can punish it because Lu Kang is a six frame, six yeah. frame high. Well, Lu Kang punishes everything. Yes. Well, he is the only character in the game with a six frame high. Yeah. So he can punish things other characters can't. Yeah. His overhead's safe. It's not. It's not punishable. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. don't press buttons after it. You're, it's not. It's not your turn, but it's safe as fuck. Yeah, the overhead is. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't need the combo. Yeah, can, no. you condition. But you don't. You don't condition. need the combo. That's dude. No, no. Very few characters in the game have like proper lows and overheads that lead to full combo. Exactly. Well, when you, when, you, other, when you compare yeah. that to somebody like Baraka, who is, oh, I got his overhead. Okay, get ready. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, that's true. Well, yeah, yeah Bar because that's that's the thing. Yeah, Baraka yeah. just when you, you compare just that to and same thing with Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage get an overhead, get ready. Like that's the thing. So no, you, you're, you're not. You're not doing. So when the, he goes the down, oh, it changed. It changed for the first two. He went down at the same time. I saw. I saw it. Ah. It literally the first two ones. You got I, killed by the dildo though. So I think it's three. On the third one, it's different. The first yeah. two, he goes down right at the same time. Well, they're wamps. You only go down if you're in proximity, so you yeah, can change it... the timing. Oh, okay. Well, you were right there. Like, he was literally... Rush it and jump right away. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if some of this stuff is like that for, like, yeah, yeah. That means. Oh, yeah. That's what you find out when, like, you are doing that. Katana doesn't have an overhead. I, I dropped Katana. I, I was trying her, and I was like, yeah, this isn't working. Nope. The requirements for her is ungodly. So, but you, when you see people swagging with her, like uh, ketchup and mustard, you're like, oh my god, I really need to, to try that. But then you like actually try the stuff that they're doing, and you gotta respect what those guys can do, because man, she is a problem. But you know, you got you got um, Ashura, Sub Zero, Baraka, Johnny. All those characters get mad damage off of a overhead. But then they say, you know what, Omni Man? Nah, you're not good. You just knock him down. Uh, Raiden, just knock him down. You know, yes. like Omni Man doesn't really have any overhead his, starters either. No, it's he has a, one low starter. There, yeah, he yeah, his, over, his, over, his overhead is a conditioner. Is, is, yeah, his overhead is the. Um, but it's a second hit in a combo. No, no, no. The, uh, the, the uh, forward uh, the two, forward two. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah. The second, well, obviously, yeah, yeah. It's not, a, it's not a combo starter either. It's the same. Yeah, thing. it just drops you. It so. just, it, those things are there to, you know, the same exact thing with 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 Raiden. Raiden, yeah. It's just oh, it's you start hit. blocking overhead. Yeah, like it, it, it's not good. I think um, your um, havoc doesn't he just have like a one hit overhead or is no, that Rayco? I have no Rayco. overheads. That's Rayco. Okay. Rayco has an overhead. Uh, trust me, I play uh, havoc's a struggle character. He does not have that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's very few. There's very few. Like some people that have overheads are like in their second or third hit. Much less safe overheads. Yeah. 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 And and, and Omni Man again. I don't think Omni Man's that good. I think he's fun, but I think he's like aggressively mid tier. That overhead's unsafe as fuck, dude. Yeah, no. Or so, too yeah. super unsafe. Yeah, yeah. So with Omni Man, you literally just have to like. In, in, how does Omni Man eventually just lose? If you play any other thing but Lao Hat, because Lao Hat is very good. Yeah. Everybody just waits for you to do something because everything's unsafe. Yeah, yeah. They, they wait for the they wait for the, the the dive bomb, up block it, fucked. 
I'm actually glad. Teleport on the side. Press A. Press one. Fuck. What? I'm actually glad that he's a different character than he. I, I honestly thought he was gonna be Supergirl or Superman. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm I know. I'm character. super impressed with him. Yeah, I don't think he's actually like crazy good. Yeah. I think he's obviously good, but does he have the things that make characters really good in this game? Not yet. Uh, his damage though. He's 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 pulling 400 off of no bar. You know yeah, I mean, but but to get in, I understand to get in. Yeah, it's, really dude, it's better to have lower damage consistently than like good damage every once in a while. Yeah, that's true. That, that always is the best thing in fighting games. Uh, did you did you find the combo extremely hard to pull off because it's a one frame? To be honest, that, not that, really. So here, yeah, here's a way to make it way easier. The hard thing is landing the stomp, stomp into, grab. into grab. Yes, I can I can tell you how to make it immediately better. Stomp into ex grab. Yeah, yeah. It always works. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to guarantee, a bar. It, who cares? <laughs> I'm using one bar for 40, 40 plus percent. Yeah. yeah. I'm completely fine with that. And you if get bar so much anyways in that game. Exactly. If, I, if it guarantees all it, the time. I'll use the bar. Fuck it. Yeah. If I don't have the bar, I'm going to try. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. The one character that, um, like, well... The base thing, I mean, like, with a cameo that has true mix is Sub-Zero, but he got nerfed like crazy. Because Sub Zero has a low starter and an overhead starter, and like low with uh, with Goro, so he can make Sub Zero can make his low even more dangerous. Uh, but to be real, like if you if you actually like Sub Zero is probably better online. Yeah. All of Sub Zero shit is fuzzyable. Yeah, meaning so, everything that he does, if you start blocking low, then blocking high immediately, you cover the little trip, and you cover the overhead. Mm. So you just go from low to high every time. He'll never open you up. Some zero's just not good. Like they, they really just they. they did that you have to hurt. find a way like around the fact that okay, people block my shit. That that's again. I said this in week one. People will find answers for this stuff. Ah! And, and even if you're blocking, you're gonna get fucked, right? It doesn't matter. And that's that's kind of what Sub Zero and and Tremor is doing right now. It's putting you in a situation where you spend one bar, you're almost guaranteed to get the combo follow up. Yeah. Yeah, I need to see that that Tremor and Sub Zero thing you're talking about. It's very good. Yeah, it very... makes the character much better. Yeah. Well, the Ice Clone isn't that great either. No. No, you can't really sit behind Ice Clone too much. Yeah, yeah. Especially with characters like Lao that can teleport you. Uh, teleport you, or they're like you can have two projectiles. Like I could call Serena. Uh, MK One's a fun game, but it's hard to right, find yes, a character you yes, really like. Projectile? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. I was having a tough time. I was having definitely a character crisis. Like, I had a character crisis in MK11 as well, but I didn't like the well, game didn't very like much. Game. Yeah, so that, that didn't help, but I had a lot of characters that were obviously super cool. Uh, this is a game where it's like, I really like the game, but I'm having a character crisis, right? Where, where it, it was obviously the opposite of MK11. God love the it. characters, can't stand the game. Now it's like, oh, love the game, and a lot of the characters just weren't really hitting for me. Yeah, and yeah. now it's weirdly enough, Havoc is like, actually the one I like the most. Yeah. Well, he's really unique. He is. He's weird. He's very weird and very unique. You know, like, Smoke is all 50-50, man, and you know... Sort of, yeah. I, Smoke, I just actually don't... I weirdly re really do not like the way he plays very much. Well, because you... You were going ham with him earlier, but you yeah, said I was online winning. It's, it's hard. I was winning, it's just that I, I don't think I was having a ton of fun with it. Hmm. Well, because you have, really have to nail down the cancels to make it... Yeah, play. and that shit is very frustrating it's when frustrating, you get Frustrating, yes. That's why I didn't play him. Smoke's one of my favorite characters of all time. But to nail those freaking guys... To be real, he's he's a completely different version of Smoke than ever before. Oh, of course. Like, what way was different I thinking? than old games, well, Nether X9, Netherrealm does that all the time. Oh, like, Netherrealm, yeah. They God. constantly change your characters. Yes. Like, I'm actually super disappointed in Katana at this point. Like, I can't do anything Dude, I used to do. Dude, what do you think anymore. Scorpion players feel like? Uh, I mean, he kind of is very similar to Eleven, dude. It's kind of wild. Like, but he's just a little bit bad. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Compared to X, he's compared very to Vortex different. Scorpion, yeah, 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 he's very different. Imagine if Street Fighter changed the characters that drastically as they do. And yeah, I mean, they're they kind of they kind of do to a with, certain like, degree. I felt that way with uh, I felt that way with uh, with uh, um, uh, DJ. DJ is very different from his you know oh, original yeah. stuff. He's so. better than he's ever been. He's, now. Yeah. That's, yeah, he's one, way more he has fun. One good thing. Yeah. So uh, it, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well, do, people want to play their legacy characters because they they remember the legacy moves. Why are you consistently changing what works? You know who doesn't need to do that? Tekken. Yeah. Tekken gives us the ability to still play our, our our old characters the way we want and still get reasonable decent damage. You know, like I was playing Tekken Eight using Law. 
doing the same shit that I was doing in fucking uh, mm. seven, Five or seven yeah. and um, uh, I was still getting a reasonable amount of damage. Doesn't mean that I should stop there. Like, of course, I should learn the optimal stuff with him, but at least it gives me the idea that, hey, I could still jump back and play nice. uh, all the stuff that I can because, hey, um, thank you for remembering the fact that uh, this character is really good with the, the combos that he used to have. It, they, they shouldn't get rid of this stuff. Gan! I swear to God, the hitbox never goes That's away like from the peak. The, the thing is that you should just add to it, not get rid of things. Yeah. It's, so, it's so frustrating. Though, it? Yeah, and then that's why Street Fighter VI is, you know, a good game. Because all it did was take the characters you had before and just give them shit. Yeah. There's, there's the most shit they've literally ever had. Hey, Tekken, man. Instead of DJ now just being I... like a, a Guile clone, which is what he historically has been, he's now like way different. Yeah, DJ has always been a better version of Guile, which is kind of hilarious because they just wanted the, a character to get away with a little bit more. But almost everything that Guile can get away with, DJ can get away with plus more. But now he's now they um, you know now the overhead is a big part of the game because it leads to major damage. So now any character that can just throw that out uh, is going to be able to be uh, do stuff. You know about better? Check the tier list. Man. Good record, nerd. DJ yes. was DJ was pretty bad. Yeah, he was terrible in the history of Fighter Oh, four, I'm sorry. Whoa! Oh, that, was that sucks. That was very weird. Oh my god! Ooh. Man! Throw a nice cube. Woo! It'll melt in my stomach. Oh. You'll feel it. <laughs> hey man, I have to tell you, this game is made for fifty-year-olds. Are you um, are you excited like the rest of the billion people there waiting for Akuma, or do you not give a shit about Akuma? Akuma? Yeah. I'm definitely excited for. Akuma. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm about as excited for Akuma as I was in Street Fighter Five. Like that was like, come on, it was like, yeah, I got Fucking, it. come on, dude. Oh, I get it. I think everybody's in a character well, crisis. Is always right going to be excited for crazy shit. I definitely am not in a character crisis in Street Fighter Six because I took like I've taken a huge break from the game. I haven't played literally any Street Fighter Six practically since Mortal Kombat came out. God so damn I'm it, just, mother! I'm just God looking forward yeah. to going back and playing more. Yeah. I get to go play, you know, either Marissa and Ken, which are both great characters I really enjoy playing. I'm thinking of like playing a struggle character like Ryu or something like that just to see how it goes. I'm actually kind of like. I'm super fine. You with played that. him in the beta. You played him in the beta. You were, you were having a good time. I wonder, um, what about Ed? So Ed's a weird one, man. Like he was weird in the other, but uh, he's weird in the other cool ones. To see, I think I really hate Ed as a character. Yeah, same man. So I hope he's fun. Well, same because his designs always were trash. Yes, yeah, so and he, he also has personality has a big piece of shit. He has an attitude problem. Well, that's Kung Lao and fucking MK One. God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's so annoying. Well, Kung Lao is cocky. Uh, Ed is a cocky piece of shit. So there's a and that's kind of the but issue. Ed, uh, that's kind of the issue with shit in one. with season one Street Fighter Six DLC is that like not a lot of it is really bangers, right? Aki is really cool. Rashid in his redesigned playstyle is like you know could be good for some people, but like Ed comes after that, it's like man, what if this season had like you know Aki and then Sagat. Makoto and Akuma. Makoto. What if it was something like that? Because this game is obviously missing a lot. What if it was Sakura? Okay, so yeah. here's the thing. What season do you think they'll start introducing Street Fighter Third Strike characters? I hopefully next fucking season. Like, I'm gonna say hopefully. I'm gonna say third Love season. It. That would make sense. It'd if make third sense. season was just full of it, yeah, it, they would flood it. That'd I, be dope. I, I'm, I'm I'm guessing third season. They're going to make their money off of all the Third Strike characters that's going to be added. I actually don't think that's going to happen. You I think every that. single season is going to have, like, you know, returning characters from vast roster shit. Mm. But, like, I think I, I think Third Season will be the Third Strike season. That's that's my prediction. Yeah. Ah! I, I think it's a safe bet. Yeah. I, I just really, like, I don't know, man. I'm craving fucking Dudley in this game. I really want to know what they would do with him. I really want to know what they would do with even Sakura. I'm really curious even what Dudley's gonna be Alex stupid. would be like or Makoto. That like, Dudley's gonna be stupid if he makes it. He'd be chance. so much fun. Because of all his tools. But guess what they're has. gonna do? They're gonna put in like fucking Nikali and Rolento. Ugh. 
Nah, they're gonna do know. some weird oh, shit. They, like they, they know the backlash. I hope. No, I hope so. Man. They know the backlash. These not a popular characters. So yeah. Matt, I you know I wonder how you know if, how true this is. There was a video recently talking about Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom and the characters that did make it in the game. Yeah. Yeah, Doc Ock and stuff like that. Yeah, Doc Human Ock Torch. and Blade and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that We've known about that for a while. They, so, they talked about those characters a long time. So Scarlet stuff, Witch was supposed to be in it as well. So that stuff was real? Yeah. Damn. So there's, they were going to be in it. It's just that they just didn't make it. That's insane, man. Blade was supposed to be in it. Dr. Octopus literally has character art in the vanilla version of the game. Yeah. It, it's uh, just the uh, game literally never got a chance to shine. It was yeah, it no. was it was done after Ultimate was Dude, out. That's insane. Doc Ock and then uh, Human Torch. Human Torch was uh, breaking the game. Yes, the, the, the fire mechanics. So the the story behind Human Torch is that yeah he was a playable character. Yeah. But uh, it was there were some technical things that were just preventing him from working all the time. Uh, the fire ship yeah, was I just freaking the system out. Like, My God, dude! That's so crazy. what they did was they turned him into Super Scroll. Yeah. And Super Scroll had some Human Torch moves on it and other Fantastic Four moves, but only every once in a while. Yep. And I so, guess Disney's like, well, you can't have one; you have to have them all, or like they want yeah. them all. So instead of them having all of the Fantastic Four, they just brought in Scroll that uses nothing but Fantastic Four moves. <sighs> He has like rock punch from the that thing. Fucking I believe in you. I believe in you. So I can do it. Just by not I was gonna right say, uh, is is, is the scrolls an intricate part of Fantastic Four? Yes. There. Yeah, yeah, he's like a bad guy, Fantastic Four dude mm. thing, ish. To be honest, I've never been a fan of Fantastic Four. I thought they were like a, a really it's lame team. It's always been the lame ass. Well, it's very been. lame team. It's like that's the thing. When we talked about like. The A tier. Never been excited for they, they are B tier as fuck. Yeah. They're like C tier. The A tier, the crazy a -tier about was always X Men, and everybody else was, you know, B. But what's crazy about them is their enemies. Like, yes. <laughs> the Rogues Gallery was good. Yeah, it's nuts. He had a Galactus, Galactus Silver Doom, Samurai, Silver, Sam I Silver, 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 Silver Surfer, Surfer. Yeah, Silver Doom, Surfer. Doom. Like, come on. Like, they always the had like crazy. Some of the best. Craziest bad guys, but that whole show was like, what? Fantastic Four or Eight? No, they were not. Like when we when we talk about A tier, especially in the nineties. Yeah, we're talking about back in the day. 90s, they were A tier way, way, way back. It's in different, the day. Chad. Yeah. Like a lot of times, people Silver got upset. Silver Surfer was big in the early nineties. Yeah. Yes. Silver Surfer. Silver yes. Surfer was big, but not that big. He got his own show. He got his own, but like it didn't last. Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer was big in the early nineties. He was all right. The comic scene, but not Fantastic Four. No. Silver Surfer. Like we're talking, look. The A tiers chat were all the X Men. Like pretty much X Men were all A. Like Spider Man was A. Hulk was A. And then after that, everyone else was like, <laughs> "Guys are big bullies and haters." Uh, <laughs> big bullies. Uh, <laughs> like I. What do you like? Let's make fun of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's keep making fun of it. Yeah. Right. Iron Man was not like you know Iron Man had his cartoon. But you know, it was nowhere near. Fantastic as Four felt like it was made for Puritan Christian fathers. Yes, <laughs> you know, like super hardcore comic yeah. book that were born and that were like you know the the Christian dad from the fifties was who liked Fantastic really? Four. I think like, Fantastic nah. Four state should stay nah. in the fifties. Like, nah. like the whole team is like. Nah. They, but then like, later on, they get written much better. Stream? They get they get written much better. I think they're extremely hard to write for. Like they're just red Perry, thank you. But I mean, I could say the same thing. Like Peter? I could say the same thing for um, what's the what's their name? Um, uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. God oh, damn yeah. it! Yeah, so that jump is always going to be hard. But guess what? Disney is a big and the, the MCU made them into A tiers. Yeah, because of good writing. Yeah, but here's the thing: Iron Man was a B tier. Like all the all the heroes, uh, Captain America was a B tier. Yeah, it's hard, like from a time. It's hard to modernize a lot of these characters. Thor was definitely like B. And also, to be honest, most of their powers fucking suck. Stupid. <laughs> They're Very stupid. Like, stupid. Like the invisible only person, woman. Okay. The only person that has decent powers is maybe uh, you know, human. Torch. Human torch. Yeah. Right. I don't even understand Rock Guy's thing. Are you he's just strong? Made, you're just the Hulk, but worse. Or, yeah. He's <laughs> Hulk with like like shorter. Break. Yeah. Like, Cap no. was not B. Cap was hundred percent B tier in the nineties. Like when the, all the cartoons, no kids like, oh man, Captain. No, Captain America was just kind of like boring and like. Well, okay. He was like a. Shoto. He Here, was just... Here's the thing, chat. Uh, Invisible Woman uh, and uh, Mr. Fantastic, their kid is OP. They have a son. And he's 
literally called X Men. Simmons, we're over here talking about shit. I can't get over this shit. jump. Hey, Simmons, I just... cannot get over this jump. <laughs> we're, we're, and he's broken yeah. as oh, but uh, yeah. but as far as her being OP, I don't know. I don't know much about her powers except yeah, Franklin her Richards is like turning unbelievably strong. Yeah, except for her turning invisible. I think she has like a force field too. Well, here's but, the thing, like you know. Uh, Oh, Nate Gray. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Yeah, he's not X-Men. That's Nate Gray. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Um, they're both OP. Franklin Richards. Franklin Richards is both, yeah. Uh, what does he do? He uh, uh, transcends... Uh, he can manipulate... Time. Yeah, uh, no, not yeah, time. No, no. Uh, he can manipulate... Uh, uh, God, what's that stuff called? This stuff? existence matters. The stuff that's th that we all have, atoms. that we're all made up of. Atoms. atoms. Yeah. He can manipulate atoms, yeah. yeah. It's Real like Adam. Reality manipulate... Yeah, yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah. Busted. Completely busted. Reality Warper. Yeah, but like I said, Captain America. Like you know, you know what's funny? You know what started making the characters like a little bit higher tier it was Marvel vs. Capcom. It helped. It helped. Oh wow, my god! Too close. Too close. It yeah. helped. Too close. Because like he has an arc. Like and like what we're talking chat is like, I guess it would be like the average comic book use like reader. It's not. We're not talking about the guys that hang in. Yeah, you, the we're talking about the people that got introduced to comics from X Men number one. Yes, old you know, eighties, fifties, which which was the most popular comic book of all fucking time. Yes. So the the expansion of the market had such a huge, profound Damn, effect that, super fast. that people that were interested in comics exploded a hundred times than it did before. Yes. So, to their perspective, yes, the Fantastic Four was for weird Puritan fathers that yes. were from the 50s or some shit. Yeah, that, that all, all, all their superheroes were lame as fuck yeah. by, by comparative standards because of what modern Marvel was, which was being crafted by, like, I read Todd McFarlane and Jim Lee and, yeah. you know, that the entire Image Comics crew was very different. And, and like, to, to the behest of Stan Lee, like, it was getting a... It was very different than what he wanted. Ah, that shit was was absolutely <laughs> what was modeling comic books at the time. Jin says, Invisible Woman is just an invisible orb inside your body and blow you. What the- What? You want to rephrase that? <laughs> Why is that the one you focus on? Uh, because it's hilarious. I'm still trying to figure out what, what makes her OP. That's why. No one has really, like, made, people are in a chat like, yeah, she's OP well, as hell. What? Later on. Maybe, what does she do? You get deep into the wiki and whoever writes her will just make her OP as fuck. Well, right. I mean, we'll you, you could do that with me. And, like, her you could do that with Mr. Man. Fantastic. And impenetrable. She'll be, like, she'll be able to shield you from an atomic bomb. Well, she, you, you know, know fantastic. You force like, field manipulation. Yeah. Isn't she literally the girl from the, the Incredibles? Yes, Incredibles is Incredibles. just Fantastic Four. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, fire she baby. Block Thor's attacks. Yeah, see there you go. No, they, they, no, they have the speed guy. Yeah. Uh, God, what's his name? Silver something. I think. Silver Surfer. No, no, no. The speed Quick guy. Silver. Quick Silver Quick Surfer. Quick Silver. Silver Surfer. Quick Silver. Silver Samurai. Silver yeah. Server. Silver Server. Simmons is hitting on this one. Arcane, thank you. I heard Squirrel Girl was actually busted because of the writing for Yes. Like, I got over the dick! Yeah, you can't you can't clear both of them. The, we, that that <sighs> solves that, that solves that. I, I could if I was doing like a running jump. But don't do it. That's too much timing. Yeah, no, like she was written broken on purpose. Uh uh as like um Squir uh, Squirrel? like like She Hulk. No. Like, she Hulk would just break the fourth wall. Like Squirrel Girl was just written like, oh yeah, she's just written OP on purpose for shits and giggles. Hmm. She's written as a joke. I thought I thought yes. Squirrel Girl breaks the fourth wall. I thought she did. At the Deadpool thing? Yeah, yeah. That's quite cool. Isn't that one of like Deadpool's powers? Well, uh Yeah, she's a meme parody. That's what I'm saying. That's why she's OP, because she's a meme parody. It is right like she defeated Thanos. Yeah, yeah. Some dumb shit, you know? Yeah. I hate it that all my, uh, well, my behest of Marvel, maybe that's the wrong word, has led me in a situation where Loki's probably really good and I just don't care. Yeah. Loki's probably really good. The, the, the ending was really good. I thought that the show itself was kind of slow and it, and it kind of dragged. But, but it wraps really it, well. But it wraps really well. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Which is different than the majority of those Marvel shows. Yes. 
They they start really good Fuck. and then they do not rap well. Yeah. Uh, Fucking a. I, I I I wouldn't say the same thing for, for uh, the Arrow or what his name is Hawkeye. Yeah, Hawkeye. That was just boring. There's all the way some through. good parts. Yeah, and I like it, yeah. The it car like, chase it, scene was good. Oh my god, he did it. No, no, no this is this is back at the start. This is oh dude, I thought that, yeah. Loki season two is actually peak MCU. So you're telling me yes. Loki season two? That's a low bar, bro. Is uh, the Andor of Marvel shit? That is uh, a low bar. Action. If if Loki good. is the best out of that, oh man, Lo that's uh, out of live no, action. No, not that good. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yes, no, maybe no, yeah, maybe, maybe not. It's good. Andor is such a high pedestal for Star Wars shit that it's oh, fucking yes, wild. Oh, yes, because it isn't saving Star Wars though. It definitely is not. No, no, it's not saving. Star no, yeah, it, what it doesn't need to save Star Wars. It didn't because it is. It won a ton of fucking Emmys and shit. It's like obviously the greatest fucking thing ever. But the views, bro. But who like, cares? Because you know what? I don't care what Star Wars fans want. I want actually things that are good. Okay. Yes. okay. Because Star Wars fans want lightsabers and like you know like mm -hmm. you know. Yes, the, the, the modern very pandery Star Wars shit. shit. That's all they. That's all they want. Let's fucking. Let's go. Oh my god. Why? Let's go! Oh! oh my you god. You can go on the edge there. You can like the edge of that. You don't have to go all the way in it. Yeah, but it's just getting worse. Oh my god! Insane. Let we'll talk about some shit for the next hour. Yeah, right? That is freaking insane. Let him cook, Chad. Oh my god. Alright, we're done. Yeah. Bye, we're Sam. Done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Right. Go Bye, Sam. Thank you, Atari. Thank you, Atari. Thank you, Atari. I'm Mr. Run and Jump. Oh I'm Mr. Run and Jump. Thank you, Atari. You did it. Thank uh, you, Atari. Congratulations. Oh, nice. Man, my hand is broken. <laughs> of course. Yeah, of course, man.